Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm using the get attribute function. In the sub and add classes, I use the get attribute method like a ternary operator. So I'm getting the attribute, object attribute, and if it's not there, I'll use a default value instead. Okay, so when initializing the add and subclasses, you have the option of providing an integer or an existing instance of value sub or add classes. So for example, the line of the subclass value one equals get attribute value one value or value one. Okay, so if value one, when it was passed into the function, had an attribute of value, then I would use that. Otherwise, I would use value one. Now that's saying that the value passed into the function could have been an instance of value or it could have been an integer. Okay, so let's look at the code. Okay, so the value class down here, self.value, the way I use it is intended to be an integer. So if I just comment that out and then print type of a.value up here and then run it, decorator client.py, it's showing me it's a class of integer. That's good because I've created this value using an integer. Now down here where I've called the add decorator, I've also passed in an integer. So if I print the type of 100, that's also an integer. So if we look at the add decorator, it's adding two integers. So value one, I'm either using value one dot value that indicates that value one is either an add or a sub or a value object, or, and if it's not those, it must be an integer, which which means I'm using that number. So then I add the two integers. Okay, so if we look at the client again, that means that in the code, I was able to add or subtract numbers as well as values, as well as decorators as I was doing down here. So if I take away that get attribute and use it without that, so if I was going value dot value and adding value two dot value, this no longer supports the option of me passing in an integer. So let's run that client. It says, yeah, attribute error, int object has no attribute value. But if I was to do that, that would be okay. But since I used the get attribute function, which gives me the option of either passing in an add sub or value or an integer now, because that's how I'm using it, I can add a number or two numbers or a number and a value or a number, a value and a decorator. Okay, so anyway, experiment with that. That's why I'm using get attributes because it gives me those extra options in the decoration functions. Done it down here as well in sub. Okay, excellent. In the next video, we'll look at the adapter. Excellent.